Okay, hello everybody. Well, today, Hank, Captain Hank, had to deal with a rather grumpy crew. Um, had a little bit of a meltdown because we had a great day sailing yesterday. And today we just didn't have any wind and we had a motor and we didn't seem to be getting anywhere and all the boats had passed us <laughs> and feeling incompetent. Anyway, so uh, he handled that very well, I have to say. And we did have some highlights despite my grumpiness. So we saw sea turtles floating by with barnacles all on their back, really big sea turtles. That was fun. At um, midday, we practiced our sextant and did noon sightings, and I got a little bit better, so that was good. That, that would have made me very grumpy if I didn't get better. Um, and, uh, oh, 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 then, right, yeah, so right as we were um, finishing the noon sightings, Hank had put two fishing poles out, and we uh, caught fish on both poles at the same time. Now, I never fish. I don't know how to reel in a fish, but I had to reel one in while Hank reeled the other, and they're quite heavy and hard to pull in. Um, we really didn't want to. They were tu nice tuna, but we really didn't want to because we can't eat that much. Um, actually, the first fish that we caught was a Dorado. These two were tuna. Oh, right. We there was one earlier. Yeah, we caught a, a Dorado that was half eaten by a shark. So I saw it jump out of the water, and it was whole. A few minutes later, I'm reeling it in, and it comes up to the boat, and half the body is gone. So it some was, shark got it. Yeah. And it was sad. Anyway, then the fish that I reeled in, by the time I got it in, and Hank was available to get the hook out um, so that we could release it, it had swallowed the hook, as they say, hook, line, and sinker. The hook was all the way down its throat, and Hank couldn't get it out, and it, it passed on in front of my eyes. Um, so we now have two tuna in the fridge, um, and we'll share some when we get to our destination, if we ever get there. We are now having a little break from motoring and sailing, going a massive two and a half or three knots. And Hank will tell you about his highlight of the day. Yeah, I had a great day. I had my shower today. Actually, both of us had a shower today with warm water, warm sunshine, and a beautiful no-wind day. So it was actually very comfortable. And I felt absolutely terrific for about a half an hour until the fish got on board and I had blood and guts all over me. So it lasted, it lasted a while. It was great for a while. Um, so anyway, yeah, the doldrums are something that are a real phenomenon. You know, yesterday we were just exhilarated to be on that water, just flying along with great wind and uh, almost scary, frankly. It was, for me, it was scary. I don't think mom was scary, but I was a little bit. Anyway, uh, and then to go to today where it was just kind of dead all day, was it's just, it's just emotionally it's draining. And I think we're both ready to get there and um, have a, a good sleep. The other problem, of course, is we don't sleep well. I think I had two hours last night. Mom probably... Oh, I had nearly four, I would think. Four, okay. <laughs> Normally she gets five or eight. Anyway... So, anyway, so we're going to go our... through the night tonight and hopefully arrive at our next destination, next anchorage tomorrow, sometime, depending on how fast we can go. Yeah, I think that's the worst bit of this is the nights for me, except last night was amazing because the moon was full and bright and um, it was beautiful. It oh, was incredible. And wh when the moon set, the stars were amazing and I did see some shooting yeah. stars. So. Anyway, okay, all. That was nice to nice to visit with you. Hope we're not boring you. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.